again, it's Melody, and you can't tell I'm in Mickey ears. We are at Downtown Disney, walking over to Disneyland. We are spending the day there, and then tonight, we have a special treat. We are going to Club 33, the exclusive Disneyland Club. I've never been there before. I don't think we're allowed to have cameras in there, but I'll try to give you a glimpse as much as I can, and I will show you a, a few parts of our day if I can get my camera out. But I'm gonna enjoy the day at Disneyland. I've got my Mickey ears on, and I'm ready to go. Everyone's excited going into Disney. There's Rodney making his uh, guest appearance. We're walking into the park. There's a lot of people here today, even though it's a Monday. I heard they're doing some sort of filming. It took us a while to get in, but we are officially at the happiest place on Earth. We got our tickets. We are on Pirates of the Caribbean. Wow, lots of Pirates treasure. We are in line for It's a Small World. I have not been on this ride since I was a kid, but it's a special Christmas edition today. And there's a lady who has a surprise. She has mistletoe, and look, look what, what's going on, Rodney. So you can kiss it the mistletoe. Merry Christmas, you guys, even though it's not even close to being Christmas, but we're having fun at Disneyland today. Oh. All right, about to enter It's a Small World. Be careful, Kennedy. Okay, It's a Small World, except there's holiday music, because this is a special holiday edition. This is a first. I've never seen it decked out like this. So we're going to switch off between Small World songs and Christmas songs. Wow, look at all the holiday lights. This is gorgeous. This is something really special. There's a surprise parade because Disney likes to make magic. They are filming a special Disney special for TV today. Does that make sense? Special Disney special? I don't know. But they randomly just launched a parade that usually does not happen. We are on our next ride. It is Storybook Land. You kind of see the Storybook Land sign behind me. About to get on the little boat. I'm excited to see what they have to offer. Love Disney movies from when I was a kid. We're going to be entering through a giant whale's mouth. Storybook Land. My name is DJ. I'll be your captain and storyteller today aboard the Wendy. Before we officially begin our journey, I must ask that you remain seated at all times while keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. Um, we also remind you to supervise children as we do not want our story to take any unexpected turns. All right, folks, once again, my name is DJ, and I would love to get to know each and every one of you, but we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what we do. On the count of three, everybody say your name out loud together. Ready? One, two, three. Melody. Got it. You're all named Diane. <laughs> And away we go. Away oh, we go. I love it. <laughs> so funny. That would be I love story. puns. <laughs> All right, folks, if you do me another favor on the count of three, give me your most astounding ooh. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. ooh. Beautiful. I like how some of you even harmonize. <laughs> If you look over to your left, you'll see the cave of the big bad wolf. Who's after the three little pigs? They live to our right. In a house, a strong a house of a stick, and a house of wolf proof guaranteed brick. The story does continue making a strange turn. We find ourselves approaching the quaint English village that's home to Alice. Hello. 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 Golden afternoon when Alice chased her white rabbit down the rabbit hole and as she fell down, down, down into Wonderland, she found her adventures only getting curiouser and curiouser. While here to our right is London Park where Peter Pan led Wendy, John, and Michael Darling over as they flew on their way to Neverland where they would never ever grow up. And you guys know why we have to take a boat to visit Peter Pan now, right? Why? Well, we used to fly. We would overshoot it because there's signs of emergency in Neverland. <laughs> this guy has funny jokes. Uh, the succulents here are beautiful. This is one of Walt Disney's favorite areas, I was just learned. 
from One DJ. One of my stories about the area, actually, uh, the little girl who did the voice for Alice also did the voice for Wendy from Peter Pan. And Walt Disney took her on a picnic here so they could watch their stories together. And it's the only person who's ever done that. And this is in fact one of the only places you'll be able to find trees that were planted by Walt Disney. Wow. Wow. Bonfire? The bigger plants that uh, were planted by him. I love the succulents because those will grow forever. Yep. Alright guys, I'm here in the Tiki Room at Disneyland. I have my Dole Whip. I learned, fun fact, this is completely gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. It's going to be a refreshing treat and I can't wait to taste it. Mm. If you like pineapple, definitely get the Dole Whip at the Tiki Room. Go inside to wait in the short line because the line outside is a lot longer. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this Dole Whip. Oh, I do want to show you, I also got a Dole Whip float for Rodney. He's on a ride right now while I went on a Dole Whip run. Okay, we are on the Winnie the Pooh ride. We're told that this ride is a little bit tricky. Our friends are going to show us a secret way to look back. What are we looking for? A bunch of um, old heads from the animatronics back in the day. A bunch of old heads from back in the day that no one knows about. So this stuff is pretty cool. These lollipops are a total throwback. I used to eat these as a kid. I think Rod needed two. You would get these every time on the way home. Yes. And um, we are... So these are my friends, Rachel and Nicole. They're the ones that are the Disney experts. They're giving us kind of the grand behind-the-scenes tour of everything that we're doing, telling us things that we wouldn't be able to notice without them. And right now we're trying some fudge, and maybe we'll get a lollipop. But I think we've had enough treats for now. This is one of Mickey Mouse's kitty cats. I just learned from Nicole that there's a handful of cats that live on the Disney park. I've never seen a cat here, but as soon as she started talking about it, we saw one on Tom Sawyer's Island. They actually live here and survive here. And I just talked to a cast member. They told me that if they see a cat, they'll have a safe trap for the cat, get it spayed or neutered, and bring it back to where they found the cat, and they happen to live here. Again, protecting Disneyland from the rodents and the mice, which is ironic because this is Mickey Mouse's house. But super cute that there's little cats all around the park. Hey right, guys, we just got changed. I'm wearing a dress. Everyone else got changed into nicer outfits and dresses as well because we are actually going to Club 33 for dinner. We're super, how excited are you guys for going to Club 33? Show us how excited you are. Woohoo! Nicole, so Nicole's actually wearing a jungle or tiki room dress, right? And a Beauty and the Beast coat, so we're decked out Disney. And then Brad here has a shag. Small and shag. Okay, so that's another Disney shirt, right? Yep. Yep. Let me see. Yep. Let me yep. see the details of these. <laughs> awesome <laughs> Disney outfits. And this is a pattern on the Tiki Room dress. Awesome. So we are gonna head over. I'll film as much as I can. I don't know if you can film inside. It's kind of a secret lounge area that not everyone can go to so I'll film as much as I can until they tell me to not film and I will check in with you guys as soon as we get there we're heading over there right now we'll be there in a few minutes we are watching Splash Mountain we're not riding we're dressed up in nice clothes but it's always fun to see people falling down and screaming there we go Woo! and then they get the photo and that's the funnest part is watching the photo after the old Club 33 entrance. We are about to go to the new entrance that's going to be down a little bit around the corner. We're really excited. We're going to take some photos walking in. And again, I'll try to get as much as I can before they tell me to turn the camera off. We are all here waiting at the door. We are all dressed up and we are ready to go. There's even a doorbell will be ringing that says Club 33 in it. I can get the lighting right. Very hard to see. There we go. Alright, about to ring the doorbell to get in. Alright, door is opening. Alright, turn it off. Alright, 
I have to turn, I can't film in here. No, so unfortunately you'd have to turn off. <laughs> okay, you guys, we just left Club 33, oh. and it was an amazing experience, right, Rodney? Yeah, yeah Rodney yeah. said it's over. We were there for almost five hours. When we were waiting to get in, there was a guy that told us he'd been here from one to five, and we were, what was he doing in there for so long? But it was such an amazing, magical experience. The server we had, his name was Alistair, was amazing at telling stories, and we all, I mean, what did you guys think? Did you guys have, I'm gonna show you guys. Did you guys have a great time? One of the best experiences ever. Yeah, it, it's it amazing. no words. I mean, we all got little souvenir gift bags that we're gonna take home. Little. Little ones. I hey, was a big one, one and little one. <laughs> I was not able to film inside because there was a rule against that, but that's okay because it's a secret club for a reason. And I have clips of us walking in, but it was just such a good time. This is it, we're leaving. The door is closed. <laughs> That was our night at Disney. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for more fun updates at Disneyland and other places. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight. All right, bye. It's Christmas time at Disneyland. Here is the famous Disneyland tree all lit up. It is gorgeous. Here are some of the ornaments close up. Disneyland stocking. We are leaving Disneyland, but I wanted to show you the beautiful Sleeping Beauty castle. It is all lit up for Christmas time. It is just gorgeous. It's an end to an amazing day. Disneyland really is the happiest place on earth. Thank you.